Welcome back to my full build series of the RC10B 6.4 1 tenth scale buggy. For this video, I am going to be doing bag 6, which is the, the gearbox build and slipper clutch build. Um, as you can see, I have all the parts laid out, a bunch of stuff on the trees here. So I'm going to cut this stuff all of it off the trees and then we will get started. Something to mention on these sway bar, when you build these sway bars, the parts for them are on this parts tree and you'll actually have to get into bag nine, which is a shock build to get these sway bar parts. So make sure that doesn't throw you for a loop and you'll have to get into the shock bag for that. All right, so the first step here is building the sway bar assembly and you use these set screws. We got the hex on one end. I like to, right before I install them, I put a little gray Sharpie marker in the middle so I kind of get these screwed in about the same amount. And so then you just start this thing in here and make sure you get it straight. And I always look in two different directions. And then I'll just screw it in close to that center point. So you can see there. And then once you get that in near the center point, you can build this other one. And again, checking to make sure it's straight. And if you need a little help to hold it, I'll pull this thing. And then I just take these ball stud washers that came with it or two millimeters. Oh man, that's tight. And so you can check to make sure that you get your two, the manual says two millimeters and you can just stick this in here and check that. And so this is not quite there. So just stick that in there. There we go. So two millimeters, you're good. And if you have extra ball stud washers, you could just put them in there to set these. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to conserve on weight. All right. So once you get these, I already pre-built the other one. Once you get these ball lengths done, then I'm just going to stick this on the table like so. And pop that down on there. And then, you know, the next step they have you is building this sway bar and putting this sway bar nut and the big thing here is is you want to put it on centered on the sway bar and i like to have this screw pointed straight out or maybe just slightly at like nine o'clock um and um big thing is is get it centered and then when you put it on the car make sure that it doesn't bind because the way that set screw it'll push the collar and you just want to make sure it doesn't bind but i'm not actually for this build i'm not putting a sway bar on the car so i'm just going to put those aside and i will put in the direct in the link um a link to sway bar instructions if you do decide you want to build with sway bars all right, so the next step here is actually putting the gearbox housing together. So you grab these, and is what you want to do is you want to put 
these bearings in the gearbox and you want to make sure there's a blue seal and a metal shield and you want to make sure the blue seal goes out and then I'll just take this idler or the uh, the input shaft and use that to push that bearing in and then you'll grab the other housing and you'll do the same thing And if you get it crooked like I just did, you can pop it out this way and just stick it in like this. Actually, like, we'll do it this way so I can get it in there. So there we go. We got the bearings in the, in the uh, gearbox there. And then we'll put the same bearings in the idler gear. So anyway, we'll stick this idler gear in and the the input shaft and the pen for the idler gear and then we'll close this housing up like so. And then we'll grab these longer it looks like the 16 mil screws which are these all right so the next step is putting the differential in the gearbox before you do that you're going to want to look at these diff inserts and there's little numbers up here on the top and also on the bottom and Whichever number is on top is what you're actually going to set to. So like this one has a zero and a three. And so the kit setup has you putting in the three. So you're going to take these larger bearings and the blue seal, you're going to push in. So it's on the outside here. Same with this one here blue seal goes down and you push this in um, these other inserts are um, one and two um, we're not going to use those for our kit setup but they're available for you as an option so then we're going to put these inserts on like so so this you can see the this larger flange here is towards the diff and you just want to make sure for this setup, you know, the, the thicker part down here goes down because you want to raise this diff up as high as possible for the plus three. And so then you drop these in and you just want to make sure those inserts are fully seated and they are and everything is spinning nicely. And you know the other thing is is the the manual shows the diff cover pointing to the right. Um so you can do that. And then the manual also talks about putting some grease on these gears. Um for a mod car, I'll typically use some shock oil, not grease. And for a stock car, I don't end up using anything. I I run these dry. And that's just my preference. I feel like it generates less friction that way. And stock car, I'm trying to eliminate as much friction as I can. So then if you're putting the sway bar in and you have already got this nut on the center, this is where you would stick the sway bar in now. Um, again, I'm not putting one on. So then you take this top and you put that on um, and then you're going to secure this with a total of five screws. There's four here and one here. These three left over are the 16. So you got one that goes through here. Just 
So I take it back at 20 goes through here. Yep, 20 goes through there. And then 16s go in here. And then 12s. Get this thing to there we go and then these 12s go up front so we got several different things and sizes to contend with and it's nice because the top part of this is a through hole so it kind of helps to align these screws for you so then i'm going to use the power driver here Put these in. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to check these all by hand. Yeah, actually my settings pretty good and then I just want to check Yeah, so this gearbox is like a little bit There's some resistance and there's actually like a Spot where it gets tight like right there it gets tight so I'm gonna back these screws out like uh, about a quarter of a turn and and it's still a little bit notchy so I'm gonna try this again like I probably should have done this one screw at a time Another quarter-ish. Sometimes too it helps to just kind of knock on the gearbox. Alright, so I got this gearbox together and I found out these back screws are the main culprit. And so I just loosened these up to where I could see a significant gap and this thing was nice and free. And then I tightened these back down as tight as I could go and have this remain free and not have any significant play in anything. Um, but these are not fully tight. They're, you know, a ways off of being fully tight. So... You'll just have to play with yours, um, but I like this gearbox to be super free, so just mess with the tightness on this top, uh, but make sure you're not leaving any significant gapping in these parts when you do this. You know, this all should be in here nice and tight. Okay, so we got that all together. Um, next thing is you're gonna put the waterfall in and there's actually two waterfalls. There's a long one and a short one. And for the lay down transmission, which is, which is the one that lays flatter that comes with the carpet car, you use this longer waterfall. And you're gonna put this little ball joint and use my ball link pliers to do that just pop that thing in and then it's gonna go in right here and it's this final 16 mil screw that's gonna secure it Just 
stick that in and just make sure again that everything feels loose and it does gearbox feels good okay we got a water falling um, and then the final part here is is these little set screws go in and they're they're for the sway bar but I'm gonna stick these in anyway just because I don't want to lose them and at some point I will be using a, a setup that actually uses a sway bar so I'm just gonna stick those in there where they're, they sit flush with the top right like so and to know these are part of a tune you know how you tune a sway bar and so if you are going to put go with the stock setup and use these sway bars and make sure you view my other video because you don't want to tighten these all away and my other video will cover how to set these screws properly if you're running a sway bar so make sure you look in the description for that all right, so once you get this gearbox housing all assembled and everything feels smooth, the next thing you're going to do is put this motor plate on. And you'll notice that it's got the holes are for countersunk screws on that side and they're no, like normal on that side. And so the countersunk is going to stick out and you're going to put this little thing it's to prevent the body from hitting your gears and that's going to go on the top and so you're going to push this all together like so okay i'm going to push that on in a minute and you're going to use these 10 mil countersunk screws and I'm going to put this bottom screw on so it kind of holds this thing in place so I'm not fighting with it so we'll stick that one in there like so And then we can stick this in. And you might have to, if these don't line up, you might have to loosen that bottom screw. But for me, it did line up. Okay, that one's not quite lined up. So we're gonna just loosen this. Tend. Yep, and then they all go in nicely and I can come in here tighten those all up There we go, so then we got the motor plate on there. And I have, you know, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna put in this car, but we're gonna run it for the most part stock and we'll put that stuff in and try to measure the performance gains. But I've got like a magnesium motor plate and some other mag parts and cut gears and ceramic bearings etc that we're going to put in this thing anyway so then once you get the motor plate on then you're going to want to put this spur gear on and uh there's two spur gears a 78 tooth and a 72 tooth and you can see they're marked on the outside of the gear right at the top where the shaft goes through and so since this is a stock car, we're going to be using the 72. So the first thing you want to do to put that spur gear on is you want to get this 
um, slipper plate that doesn't have this larger barrel with the pen cut out and you're gonna put that on and there's a flat spot on the shaft and you're gonna there's and there's also a flat spot in this so you're gonna want to turn this until it drops down in and gets on that flat spot then you're gonna take this gear and on the side opposite the mark 72 tooth you're going to put one of these pads in and then you can slide this thing on just need to make sure that slipper pad is seated properly and then you'll put the other slipper pad in here like so and then finally this one with the pen cut out and again you might have to rotate it to get it in the flat spot if you don't get these slipper aluminum pad things in the flat spots especially this outside one it's harder to notice that but if you don't you'll get excessive slipping even when you have this thing tightened all the way so just look out for that I'm gonna look at this really quick. okay that's good okay the next thing is you're gonna put this screw in and there's a little pen that you're gonna slide in here and I use these robo grip slash channel locks to push that in um, and you got to get it centered on the head there and then you can push this thing through and the pin it'll drop into that cutout so then on the back side you're going to put this spring assembly and you've got these this spacer with a narrower barrel on one side and the thicker barrel on the top so that thicker barrel is going to point out and it's going to hold this spring in place then you got the second one that's just a hat with one barrel and that thicker barrel goes into the spring again so it's flat on top now and then you put this nut on to hold this all in place and then you can use your 5.5 nut driver to tighten this down and how tight you make this nut is a setting um, you can see how this thing's spinning right now it's pretty free for stock bearings without doing any work cleaning them out um, anyway we'll, we're gonna set this nut later you gotta ha have the car all together to actually set that and we'll, I'll cover that in a later video so our gearbox is now fully assembled all right so the next step here is we're gonna put the tower on and you can see there's a number on one side and no number on the other I'm gonna have that number visible so I'm gonna install the shock screws from the same side as the number so you put these little shock protectors and then these larger screws with a super flat head go in the kit setup is the second hole from the inside which on the setup sheet is marked two um, but we're gonna do actually the third hole from the inside which is the th mark three and we're going to put just a little dab of thread lock right on the inside there. Mainly because I don't like it when I'm trying to loosen shocks and that thing comes loose. 
So we put that on like so, and then we'll do the same thing for this side. All right, so we got the shock standoffs on. And then the next thing is you're gonna stick the wing mount on and it goes in these larger holes here like so and there's two options you can do it you can just install this or you can add these spacers to make it a little bit longer the stock setup is installing those spacers um, but for me I'm not going to install those um, and so if you install them, you use these longer screws, and if you don't, you use the shorter 12s. And so we're gonna use these shorter ones here. Make sure we get this in straight. And we can bring in the power tools here. And we grab the same other, do the same thing for the other side. All right, so we got the wing mount on there. And then the final step here of assembling, getting this assembly together is putting this on the gear housing. And since if you're doing arms forward, then this thing goes on like this. And if you're doing arms back, or sorry, shocks in front of the arms, this thing goes up here, and if shocks behind the arms, it goes back here. And so we're gonna stick this on, we wanna go arm shocks in front of the arms. And so now it's gonna use these final 12 mils to put that on. Like so. Just make sure you're getting these in straight. If you're not, you can back them out. star pattern and then I'm going to check them tightness wing mounts too all right so yeah everything's tight and then i just want to do a final check to make sure yep gearbox still feels nice and smooth and so the next step here is to actually put this gearbox on the car 
All right, here we go. So I moved a bunch of the parts, extra parts that I'm not gonna use out of the way. And we're gonna stick this gearbox on the car now. And it's gonna go in just like so. And it should be pretty locked in if you put it in correctly. And then we're gonna secure it with, there's six 10 mils that go two in here and two here and here. And then there's the, the back part, which actually uses these 16 mils. And so we're gonna flip this thing over like so. And I think I'm gonna drop these 16s in first. And don't forget to put this bumper in before you do that, that we left out from earlier, but we can drop those in. And they're, you know, got some room there. Let's hold that up there to give it a little more pressure. And then I'm going to tighten these down just to hold everything in place. And if for whatever reason a screw doesn't line up, then you can loosen these back up to help with that. But you'll see there's holes here. Those do not get filled. So these 12 mils are going to go in this hole here. Yeah, these holes are for the other gearbox, so you won't use those. Stick them there. Neighbors are getting excited out there about the 4th of July. Happy 4th to everybody. If you serve, thanks for your service. Alright, so before I cinch these down, I'm just going to make sure everything looks kosher. In terms of straightness, that side looks pretty good. This side needs a little adjusting. Okay, looks, all looks good. So then we're gonna tighten these all down. come in here and I'm going to check all these all right so we got that gearbox secured now and then we just want to check Everything still spins freely, so we're good to go there. All right, so then finally, you know, you'll see that I got uh, like a bunch of extra parts. Um, we've got the diff height inserts. This is a tuning option. We got the larger spur gear, which is for mod and we're not going to use. We have these spacers, which allow you to move the wing further back. Um, this is a plate 
to put an angle on the wing and these are the wing buttons which we'll use later when we put the wing on these screws are if you use these spacers so you got four of those left over these are some tuning options for the shocks and these are wire organizers which we'll use later so that completes bag six and i hope you found this video useful and if you did please like and subscribe